Here at Velda Rose Charlene near Mariapolis, Manitoba, a reliable feeding system is of the utmost importance. Daniel Vandeveld and his family run a herd of 120 purebred Charlay cows and also sell breeding bulls, so they need to make sure their cattle get the right nutrients on a regular basis. That's why they like to use an invention known as the Super Trail Feed Bucket, which mounts on their front end loader pretty much just like any other bucket. Vandeveld says this bucket has saved them a lot of grief. Oh, for years uh, when we've been feeding grain, to our animals, uh, it, it involved uh, using five gallon pails and making uh, uh, at least three, four truck truckload trips, pickup truckload trips, and uh, involved you know two guys to to get the work done to do all the feeding, which was quite labor intensive. These days, Vandevel can do the feeding all by himself in a matter of a few minutes, and the calves really seem to enjoy getting their feed a lot quicker than with an old five-gallon pail method. The feed bucket was invented by Lawrence Delight, who farms a short drive down the road in the St. Alphonse region. Delight says he initially intended the bucket to be carried behind his tractor, but that idea turned out to be unworkable. We used to have one on the, uh, behind us on the three-point hitch in the you can't see what you're doing and you can't lift it high enough and then I got the idea to put it on the loader and it's a much better spot for it because as you see you can clear any obstacle and see what you're doing. Vandeveld has an 8 foot wide feed bucket which holds up to 57 bushels of grain mounted on his 7810 John Deere tractor. But for tractors with smaller loaders, Delight also makes a 7-foot wide bucket rated at a capacity of 46 bushels. Being a farmer himself, he builds these buckets for long-term durability with mild steel. I'm using 10 gauge on the back wall and 3 16 on the sides and the front. and The whole front edge is reinforced with a 3 8 by 3 flat iron. The auger runs along the full length of the feed bucket and is driven by an orbit motor. The auger flighting is housed inside quarter-inch tubing to help prevent damage from hitting unforeseen obstacles or debris. The unit can be operated either with or without the spout, depending on where the feeding is taking place. Augers it out to, on the driver's side, so usually the side you get in your tractor and uh, you can put the spout down uh, if you need it uh, to reach out into a trough and, and you can use it with, without the spout down if you're feeding right on the, the ground. Vandebel says this flexibility fits in well on their operation since they use multiple different methods of feeding grain including this enclosed feeder for their bulls. They also utilize the feed bucket for pasture feeding. Usually we flip it up when we're feeding in pastures in large groups in large numbers. That way uh, nothing obstructs it and, uh, and bends it while you're feeding. While, when you're feeding grain it, uh, it can become pretty crowded around this area and the animals really try to get at it. So this way you can feed and uh, we usually feed in reverse and nothing, uh, nothing gets in the way. The auger is turned on and off from inside the cab by using the tractor's hydraulic controls. Vandevel likes that the speed of the auger can be regulated by how fast the tractor engine is running. Just by the speed of the tractor that you drive along, that you drive along the manger. Otherwise, the hydraulics go right to a, uh, a electric hydraulic button right on our joystick loader, which makes it quite simple to use. Most front-end loaders used on farms and ranches these days have quick-tatch systems for hooking up to the buckets, so Delight made his system quick-tatch compatible. As a result, hooking up and unhooking the feed bucket is simple and fast. All it is is a, a pin, a pin on your two, uh, two transport legs that you just flip up. So you flip those down, that's uh, to brace it. And then when you come around to the back side, there's just two hydraulic hoses that you detach. 
and then on the inside you have your, your two uh, quick attach pins. Vandeveld says this unit allows them to feed pretty much anything that can run through an auger. We're mainly feeding rolled oats and barley, but uh, in our self feeders, we're also uh, putting bull ration, which consists of lots of uh, pellets and uh, corn, corn and uh, oats. This bucket has been used by the Vandeveld family for about six years, and they're very pleased with its performance and durability. At the time of our visit, eight-foot buckets like this one were selling for $2,350, while the smaller seven-foot units were priced at about $2,000.